Generational curses are real, whether you accept and identify with uh, a godly figure in your life. They are real things. Uh, if you don't identify with Christ, you might identify with the fact that you were born into a household that had a certain way of um, where you were treated, the way you were brought up, with your parents, without your parents, whatever it is. And all of these things have the ability to affect you. So when I speak about generational curses is the fact that whether you are male or female, you have things that have been bestowed onto you through loving, caring uh, family members that have been there for you and wants the best in you. And you've also had things that were bestowed into you in the spiritual realm through uh, not having a mother or a father, through being orphaned, through being abandoned, through your mother and father being alcoholics, not being the greatest examples or role models. I always use the example of Frank Gallagher from Shameless. Uh, reminds me of my father. Uh, Frank, Geller was, Frank Gallagher from Seamus was the head of the household, but he was the complete opposite of what a male role model was, right? And my generational curse was growing up in a household where there was no leader, there was no authoritative figure, there was no, there was no person uh, from a male distinction guiding me and telling me, this is your true north, this is what a man does. I had my mother, who I love, who still to this day means the world to me, but the fact is that a mother, an auntie, a granny, a sister, a niece play vital roles in our life, in our lives, but they can never be dad enough. They can never be man enough. They can love from a maternal instinct. They can care. They can teach, but they can never love from a masculine perspective.